In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Great Dane and if they are prone to separation anxiety. Welcome back to the Fenrir Great Dane channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Mimi and I'm a registered canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you can possibly want to know about the Great Dane and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Great Danes. So if you're a lifelong Great Dane lover, you're thinking about getting one or you're just starting your journey with your new Great Dane pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you never miss a future Great Dane video. So then let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the Great Dane and how prone to separation anxiety they are. We'll start with temperament. It is not a surprise when I tell you that Great Danes are known as gentle giants. That is the attraction of having a dog as big or even bigger than yourself. They make beautiful additions to the family. Their peaceful disposition and relentless attempts at being a lap dog will just make them a joy to be around. Who could possibly have a bad day when your 60 kilogram Great Dane is desperate to share your spot on the sofa? As fun as their size can be, you still have to remember this is a big, powerful dog that doesn't always realise how big or how powerful they are. They haven't got much in the way of aggression in them, but even a happy dog can cause chaos when they stand at three feet tall. There isn't much in the way of overall dynamic movements for a Great Dane like what you would see in a Spaniel. They almost seem to move in slow motion. From a historically hunting dog to a calm protector, these dogs love humans and companionship and spending time with them does nothing but strengthen that bond. It's fair to say that the Great Dane isn't a highly strung dog in the same way a German Shepherd is. They don't tend to be nervous or destructive when craving attention. They're a fairly vocal breed but with more sassy grunting rather than barking. You'll know when they want attention from the fussy noises coming out of them. They used to have a high working and hunting drive but modern day Great Danes are commonly seen as couch potatoes. The docility of this dog means they can adapt to different living situations given the time to adjust with a fair amount of ease. However, they can be slightly anxious when left for long periods of time but that is true for most breeds and it doesn't necessarily translate as being highly strung. It can be observed that they do well in two dog houses households, happy to play amongst themselves if their humans aren't home, but that will be subject to socialisation and personal circumstance. The Great Dane have evolved into great companion dogs, but they aren't dependent on their company like the French Bulldog for example. Don't get me wrong, they adore having someone to cuddle with, but their docile personality means that they will more than likely sleep if you leave them on an odd occasion for a few hours. But if constantly left alone for long periods of time, especially if they're young, they can become frustrated and destructive. This ability to feel comfortable alone may be thanks to their history of being guardians of big estates, often left to guard alone, but it is also down to the socialisation you give them. Whilst you shouldn't be leaving a dog unaccompanied for long periods, training them to be comfortable for an hour or so from a young age can reduce any anxiety as they'll learn how to cope without being destructive. And for more security, if you have to leave them for an hour or two, Kongs filled with their favourite treat can engage their mind long enough for you to escape teeth marks on table legs. A crate or a pen, depending on how big your Great Dane is, can be a dog's sanctuary, somewhere cosy and reliable that they relate feelings of safety with. These things can reduce the stress of being alone, but days alone alone will make for a miserable Great Dane, so always try to keep them in good company. They love people and let's be honest, who doesn't love the comical value of a Great Dane? To recap before the end of this video, let's quickly summarise all we've covered today. The Great Dane is a companion dog and that's thanks to specific breeding and adaptations over the past few hundred years. They are wonderful dogs to have in the family, their docility makes them great additions to a lot of homes. They're fairly intelligent and somewhat lazy, but they do respond well to consistent, positive training. They aren't a working dog like a Border Collie is, but they still need a good level of social engagement to prevent any destructive behaviours. This combination of passivity and companionship means that they can suffer with separation anxiety, but it's not too common if they're only being left for short periods. Don't despair if you do have to leave them. Crate or pen training and engaging treats such as the Con can help reduce anxiety-induced behaviours if you find yourself leaving a Great Dane for longer than an hour or so. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved, down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Great Dane channel.